now, Health is Your Wealth. Sponsored by the Sheila Lynn Baker Health Foundation. Here's your host, Jeannie Janae. Hello, hello. This is Jeannie Janae. Today, we have a very, very special guest. His name is Clayton Tenneton. And he's going to tell you about a great miracle. At the same time, we are going to open up our lines for those of you who would like to call in. And we have a few more guests that are going to come on, too, to talk about this man and what he does. And now, I'm going to bring on a man that I absolutely adore and love, Ted Elliott Baker. Hi. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? Great. How are you? Now, tell us about this wonderful man that we're going to have on. Well, it was remarkable because I just have to advise people that this came to me totally through unexpected sources. I was not looking for it, but that's how sometimes miracles happen. And uh, the doctor, uh, Carol Geck from Utah, who was 30 years in the practice, had been using this product in the clinic and getting these incredible results. So she called me and says, please, Ted, would you look at this because we're getting just too many incredible results. And so I reluctantly did look at it, and of course, when I looked at the video, then I went forward and ordered the product, and since then, it's helped me immensely with my hair, with my skin, with a lot of things. Yeah, you look about, uh, I'd say, a good 15 years younger, and you've been using it for about three months, right? Yeah, it's been about three months. I've been really fortunate to have this product. And how do you feel? I feel good, too, because I'm taking the neutralizer internally, and I have more energy. I just seem to be calmer. But tell a little bit of story about this man. He's going to talk about the product. Well, Clayton had a vision back in July of 1980, I believe, on July morning. At 1 o'clock in the morning, he was awakened and, and had this formula on his bedroom wall. In essence, he took that and followed the orders precisely. That was 21 years ago. And he gave the product away for seven years and formed a company in 87. And for 15 years, he's been getting this to people, I guess, now in over 20 countries. And it has been doing some remarkable things. So his story actually was that he was healed by the Lord from a terrible automobile accident almost overnight. That was miracle one. Miracle two is the, is the vision and the formulation he received on his bedroom wall in 1980. And the rest is history. Thank you so much, Ted. Thank you for giving that introduction. And then all of you sit and listen because you're going to hear this outrageous story about how Clayton Tenedin received uh, the information on this fabulous product. But now it's time to bring on our guest, this wonderful man. Clayton Tedditon. Are you there, Clayton? Yes, I'm here. How are you? I am doing great. Very good. Where are you calling from? From Monroe, Louisiana. I can hear your accent. <laughs> Let's find out a little more about who Clayton Tedditon is. Now, you're very special to me and also to Ted, and so I want to ask you how you got into the health business. What happened? It all started in 1969. I was at the peak of my life, making real good money. I owned three companies. Uh, I was a brick distributor, a carpet distributor, and had a lot of rent property here in North Louisiana. And at the peak that Saturday that my world totally ended, in fact, on Friday is when it happened, but Saturday I realized Life is so precious because at 4 o'clock that evening, I had an accident. A little lady run a stop sign out on the main highway, and for the next nine months, I lay in the hospital and at home, unable to work, making more money because my businesses went on. I had managers and all, but I found out money Compared to your health, there's nothing. You know, without your health, I mean, you're in a bad place. Well, in October of 1980, no hope from any doctor. I had three of the best doctors in North Louisiana, and they couldn't give me any hope. So I was at home one Sunday. My wife and two or uh, three children had left to go over to her mother's because I'd got to where I wasn't much fun. I couldn't travel. I couldn't get out in the sunshine. I couldn't stand any loud noises. And I cut the television on real low. We had two channels back at that time. And this man uh, started speaking, and he pointed out to the television audience and said, there's a man that's been in a wreck. God will heal him today if he'll believe. That was the first hope I had had in that period of time. So I when he got through, this was old Roberts. I'd never heard of the man because I never did sit around watching 
church programs or anything, but I just said if if that God is as real as he says he is, if you let me live and finish raising my family, I'll do anything you want me to do. That's all I said. That's all I knew to say. My, my family come in. I went to bed, took my pills from three doctors, and the next morning, I woke up like you had flipped a switch, totally healed, no problem, slipped out of bed the first time in eight or nine months, went up front, made a pot of coffee, and I was sitting there, and I was saying, now, this is amazing. I knew that that God that man was talking about had done a miraculous miracle in my life, and I started pouring all my medicine in a trash can. And about that time, my, my wife had smelled this coffee cooking, jumped up, and run about 80 foot to see what was going on. And as she entered into the kitchen, I was pouring all my medicine out. She thought I'd went into that state just before you croak or something. <laughs> yeah. I just went to work like, like I had quit work that time, totally healed. And I began to hear this voice, you promised me you'd obey me. I didn't know what to do. And so it got so frequent. In 1972, I told my wife, I said, I've got to get away. I don't know what's going on. I have got to get away. And she said, whatever you've got to do, do it, because you're running us nuts around here, talking to yourself, answering yourself. And I, I just couldn't talk to anybody about this. So I got in my motor home, and I just run away. Off and on up to eight months of the year, I was just running. Spent a lot of time in San Diego and Tijuana and all across the United States. And every place I would go and spend a week, some little old man or woman would come up to me and tell me they loved me. I didn't understand that. I didn't even love myself. But that's the way God kept up with me for eight years, all over Mexico, Canada, the United States, and at one point, I was in Tennessee, and I said, I've got to go home. I just, whatever I've got to do, I've, I've got to go home. And I, then I began to say, how am I going to make a living if I do something different? And this voice I'd been talking to for just months and months here said, I'm going to give you something that every person on the earth will need. And them that believe who I send will see my glory, they will prosper, and you will prosper. That rang through my head all that day and that night. Went to bed, woke up, one o'clock, awakened just like somebody had shook me. And I raised up in this big bedroom and I looked and the formulation of this was wrote on my bedroom wall in lights like a computer printout. I awakened my wife and I said, honey, grab a pencil and a piece of paper and she cut the light on. She didn't see what I saw. Uh, but I began to dictate to her all of this writing. And she said, Clayton, what is going on? I said, Pat, I just don't know. Just don't ask me any questions. I cannot answer anything. And as the next few days went on, I began to gather up these natural things that uh, he told me together up. I poured all seven of these things in the kitchen sink and all of a sudden I had suds knee deep in my wife's kitchen. Oh my and God. she come into the kitchen and said, Clayton, what in the world are you doing? Yeah. And of course, I, I have no chemistry background. Anything that had suds was either root beer or soap. So I just took it for granted. It was soap. So I started using it around. I give it to all my rent uh, people at my rent property. If you bought carpet, I give you a gallon of it. If you bought a brick, I give you a gallon of it. So I done that. I just give it away for about five years, and people begin to say, Clayton, I don't want you to give it to me. I want to buy this stuff. That is the best cleaner. It'll clean anything that I have ever tried to clean. I mean everything and i had seven salesmen out selling this product to restaurants and civic centers housing authorities every conceivable place in fact